Hello ladies, gentlemen, and everything in between, and welcome to a bit of a disassembled look at what I have. Uh, my computer died like a month or so ago, uh, the power supply had a barbecue, you know, fry up a bit of everything in the computer, except for the CPU and the um, RAM that was in it, it took out everything else. Hard drives, completely gone, they didn't read, they didn't even boot up let alone, like, even make noise. So power supply gone, graphics card gone, motherboard, CPU and RAM somehow survived. Uh, I'm using a Coolmaster g Light uh, tower, rig, case, whatever you want to call it. And I thought, well, it was all apart while I'm waiting for the motherboard to get back. I'll actually show you what I use, because, I don't know, I have nothing better to do. It is... What time is it? It is, I'm turning around, 11 o'clock in the morning, and it is raining, so there is fuck all for me to do. <coughs> uh, I, have, I have fun. So, I'm just going to show you what I actually have, and what I've been using to record the videos up until now. Uh, so, inside the case, I've now... Uh, let me show me this over. Got a thermal take, light power, a 650 watt hard um, power supply. Nothing special about that. It has all the cables you need. Like I think it has like 10 SATA cables, something silly like that. Uh, that's for the motherboard. Uh, so free, you're free, you're free. Four, five. Well, only five SATA. My mistake. Five starter power. What's the starter power? I have no idea what you call them. Two six pins, which also have the eight pin adapters on it. And again, the eight pin for the graphics card of the CPU, or two fours, depending on what your system requires. Let me figure out how to plug them back together. Like that, wonderful. Uh, this case only has one fan at the front, and I have in here a something or another video DVD wrong. DVD D DVD RW writer. I have uh, or was using in this before it died eight gigs of RAM, which I still have. It is two sticks of four. So Stronum, I believe that's pronounced Stronium. There we go. I believe that's how you meant to focus. DDR three, nothing Massively special about them. Uh, then, since the crash, purchased a purchased purchased a crucial uh, SSD, two forty gigabyte. Again, nothing too special about it. Uh, that is completely empty. I had to completely wipe them recently for reasons. And a Barracuda seven fifty gigabyte from Seagate, running at seventy two hundred revs. Uh, for the CPU, I'm actually using an APU because I was, at the time of purchasing this the first time, uh, kind of low on cash, so we went very middle of the ground. Went for an AMD A-Series, the a 10 7700K. Uh, this is a 4-core CPU, 6-core GPU, as it says on the back there, if you'll focus, there we go. Uh, this will run, and this is what I've always used as my benchmark for some strange reason. Uh, it'll run Daisy, the standalone, not the standalone, the mod, uh, at about 40 FPS in the forest, uh, at about 25 or so when you go into cities like Electra's Arbordesk or Chernogorsk, uh, depending obviously on the situation. If you have like someone nuking the server with giant explosions, it's gonna drop a bit. That's to be expected with all that sort of shit. But the one that I have over behind me under the computer. Which has a uh, A6 3500 from early 2010 and a HD 6880 as the graphics card would barely run Daisy a standalone, uh, Daisy mod at 15 frames a second when you're out in the forest. Uh, about 8 frames a second when you're in the city. <laughs> I played Daisy on that sort of situation for the best part of two years. Best time in my life because getting headshots was really easy for some strange reason. No fucking clue why. But when I changed to that thing, 
it got a lot harder. Uh, and for the graphics card, I was using, for the last three or so videos, a single GTX 780, or seven, uh, GTX 470, sorry, it's got your hopes up there, 470 because I got two of them for really cheap, off trade me, again, NZ eBay. Uh, which, well, I was planning to use in tandem SLI, but because this uses a FM2 socket, FM2 Plus, couldn't do that. So I had to use just one. Why are you standing weird like that? Here we go. Uh, so I had to use just the one, which kind of got on my wick a bit, because it was running Overwatch at about 80 frames a second, with everything on low. And it barely ran Doom at 20 frames a second. They... I was told that they were very mid-range for the time, and the graphics card that I'm going to have in here now and did have in here before was mid-range for the time three years ago, and it ran runs Doom and Overwatch and all that sort of stuff, and a hot, much higher. Uh, what I got brought to me today, oops, there we almost dropped it, in this goddamn unpoppable, oh shit, I thought that was unpoppable, bubble wrap. <laughs> I genuinely thought that was the unpoppable stuff because I had to put actual. Look, you can probably... Okay. <laughs> I thought that was unpoppable. That unpoppable wall crack. Uh, if you can tell from that, you may be able to see... Does it show up on there? Maybe you know who that is. Uh, this... It's a Sapphire Radeon. Radeon Sapphire, whichever way around that goes. Uh, R7-260X. This is the overclocked version of it, uh, mid 2013-ish, mid-range, uh, I think it's, uh, I don't have the info on me here, uh, 2 gigabyte DDR5, yeah, so, this is the overclocked version of the 260, I was planning when I originally got them, the reason I got this and not the, um, 240 or 250, which, uh, was the other options, if I could figure out how to get this back into the bag, there we go. But I was planning on using this in tandem with this as the crossfire. Unfortunately, that only does crossfire with the 240 and the 250, and they stopped it before they did the 260. That cannot crossfire with anything. They didn't tell me that they were going to stop it before they did. So I was hoping for them to start working together. And because at the time I wasn't that clued in on what crossfire actually was, never done it before, so I kind of went, hey, this has. Uh, R7 graphics in it. This has uh, all this sort of fancy stuff. Surely that'll work with an R7 graphics card. Right? Yeah, right, sure. But uh, the other things I have is this screen. I have two of these. So let me shimmy you back uh, like that. Perfect. I have two of these. These are Dell 1909s, they're 19 inch. Six, uh, 75 hertz, uh, I think that's 720, maybe 1080 at a very high stretch, I doubt it. But 16 by 10, they do perfectly fine. If I were to watch YouTube at 1080, it would freeze constantly. Not because of the graphics card, but because my internet is shit in New Zealand. <laughs> As is everyone. Uh, my keyboard, it's not the one down there, don't be so, uh, so silly. That. Best gaming keyboard ever. Roll up things. People, they... I'm kidding. Uh, it is a... Logitech G105 gaming gaming keyboard. Roll this piece of crap up. I hate these. Uh, for the mouse, and this is a fun story behind this one, I have the... Out of the way, Out of the way. I'm getting noisy, don't worry about it. I have the Logitech there we go, G402. Uh, fun fact about this one. Turns out, uh, mice like mice. So, they kind of chew through the cables here, here, and here at one stage. So, so no, just, just here and here. So they're all soldered back together under that and then glued together because it was outside of warranty because it had been just over the time period. So I got butterfucked by that. 
So, yeah. Uh, I've also got, because I wanted to see the possibility maybe of putting a face cam in there. I have no idea if I ever will or not. You probably will be able to see that. A Logitech C270 720p. There it is, 720p. Three megapixel cameras, which is weird because the 170 can take five megapixel cameras at VGA quality. Um, what do you call them? Videos, which basically refer to 640 by 480 in widescreen and 1024 by 768 in 4 by 3 Built-in mic and a auto light focus thingamajig. That is basically my setup. A normal case, normal-ish. Let me slide you a little bit back. Yeah, as you can see. Reasonably nice sunny day out, but it is raining, so it always puts a on it. Uh, so, got that. AMD A10 7700. 240, 240 and a 750. A R7 260X. Because I know it works. Logitech C270. C270. Uh, 8 gigabytes of Strodium RAM. I have no idea where to put this. Put it there. It, it shouldn't get fried on cardboard, should it? Should it? <laughs> I don't think it would. And then the G401, G402, G105, and two of them. And they are basically what I do all my shit on. If I had them. Because... They're all broken at the moment in the part because the motherboard is gone. I want my computer back. <laughs> oh, it's been fun. Uh, let me know if you want me to do like the reconstructing part of this. Like the actual putting it back together. Because I kind of want to show it. Just because I have a weird way of putting it all together where I basically put it back together the same way everyone else does. But... I don't know where to go with this, so I will leave you guys with a good morning, a good afternoon, and a good evening. And I hope you have a good whatever you are doing. See you, everyone.